Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed worship. I did. Um, I feel energized and I feel really um, loved by God and I feel like I had an opportunity to praise Him and glorify Him and give Him every single bit of praise that I've had in my heart all week that I don't get to do in a normal type of life. So now we're going to go into just what we're planning to do today and what we're going to learn today. And I've brought a couple of friends to help me demonstrate what we're going to learn today. All these items that I'm going to show you are really great on their own. But when paired with something, they're even greater. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. I'll show you one thing and then you must tell me in the comment section what you think it goes well with. So here goes nothing. <laughs> So this is salt. It might look a bit fancy, but it's just salt. What do you think goes amazingly with salt? Yes, pepper. <laughs> Black pepper goes amazingly with salt. Have you heard all the chefs on TV always say, sprinkle a bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and your food is amazing. And next, Milk. What goes amazing with milk? It's a warm beverage. You can have it a bit cold if you like, but I like it warm. And if you warm up the milk and you boil some water and you add a little something, it makes it really, really good. Milo. Well, for me, <laughs> milk goes really well with Milo. I'm sure Milo is really great on its own, but with milk, it's really amazing. And our very last one, like this one I really like. I don't know if you guys like it, but it's a really great snack. Apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but an apple a day with a little bit of peanut butter makes your day even greater. So a little bit of peanut butter on your apple is a great healthy snack and they go amazingly together, even though they are great on their own. And now I just want us to Talk about this one. Uh, I'm not sure how you guys are gonna feel about it. I'm trying it for the very first time. So I don't know how great these are together. And these are a slice of lemon and some Dijon mustard. I'm sure you've seen this in your parents' cabinet. It's really nice with some things, but I'm not sure how it is with lemon. So let's see. Whew. <sighs> that didn't go. It's a bit, yeah, it's very strong and I think I might need to go quickly get some water. Hold up. Okay, I'm back. That was not very nice. I don't know, maybe some of you like it, but it's not for me. Um, but you did see with the salt and pepper, the apple and peanut butter, the milk and Milo or hot chocolate, whatever you like, they're really great on their own. But when paired with something else that's also great on its own, they're even better. It's very much like friendship and that's what we're going to be looking at today in the story of David and Jonathan. So you're going to enjoy that and Petronella is going to help us understand what the story is all about. But it's pretty much about friendship and we're going to be learning about how as two different people, God has given us all different sets of talents and skills. Some friends are funnier than us, but sometimes maybe we know how to do some things better than them or we are very good listeners or we tell really amazing stories. Or we're just really great at being part of their team. So we all bring something special and that's how God has created each and every one of you. And that's why we make great friends because we're not all the same. <laughs> 